Hi, I'm Bob Lujano, and if you're a healthy, active person like myself, you realize the importance of continuing a healthy, active life is also being able to have a diet that's healthy. So today we're going to demonstrate uh, using various tools and devices to help you have the independence uh, to be able to prepare any meal that you want. Today is it's lunchtime, and I actually have rugby practice this evening, so I'm actually going to burn a lot of calories. So today I'm going to prepare a salad, which of course is very important to have greens. In my household, it's actually a lot easier for me to prepare my food from my dining room table. And plus, it helps when I use the cutting board. It gives a little bit better stability. And plus, the way this cutting board is set up, it actually is an adapted cutting board. It allows you to hold the food here and freeze you up just to practice on or to work on the cutting. But another thing that it has is underneath it are these suction cups, which when placed on the table, prevents any movement of the device, which gives a little bit better stability. So again, the apple will just be lodged in here, which then prevents me from having to hold it. And there are many different types of cutting devices. Today I'm going to use the one that has, uh, I guess, an extended handle, which would then allow me to just focus on being able to cut the device without even having to hold the apple. And plus, uh, using this device allows me to grip the knife for me to be able to cut. Another adaptive device with cutting is this knife. If you're a person that may have limited finger function and, and impairment in your dexterity, sometimes being able to cut and slice is difficult. This is what they call a rock knife, which allows you to just basically do a rock motion without even really having to cut and slice. But by rocking the device up and back, it allows you to cut. All right, today we're gonna continue uh, cutting using our cutting board. Um, and as you can see, we have a big head of lettuce. The device will come into play as it's able to lock down, being able to hold the salad. And again, I have the option of the big handle knife uh, or the little handle knife. Bon appetit, baby. Next, we're gonna use the adapted knife. Again, with it being serrated, uh, it makes it easier to cut uh, a tomato. Bon appetit. <laughs> First, again, uh, another adaptive device is this fork with kind of um, a big handle, again, for people that may have limited function in their fingers and, and dexterity, uh, definitely would help. Also, this plate uh, has at the very end of it uh, kind of a rising uh, end to be able to scoop food up without it falling off the plate. So again, these are just examples of, again, of adaptive equipment that can benefit uh, you as you Lead a healthy, active lifestyle, which of course includes uh, nutrition. I'm next going to prepare some soup. So what I'll do is I'll use this basic can opener again to open up a can. Again, sometimes uh, some of the most basic things that you can use found in your kitchen can very much be used uh, at, in an adaptive occasion to, to do something like soup. So I was able to pick it up high enough to where I can now pop it and then use the can opener again to pull it back. All right, one tip that very much helps me is having this table. It just makes it easier to have it in one convenient location where I can prepare the food and then not very much have to carry it too far to get to the stove. One of the adaptive features that's pointed out here is a mirror that's uh, listed above the oven. And what the mirror will do is will allow a uh, person to be able to watch the food boil to where it's done. Sometimes when you have items that may have a big pot, it may be difficult to see over the top, but using that mirror, I can very much tell when it starts to bubble and it's done. Here, do this. Oh yeah, she's ready. As I'm about to eat the soup, again, let me point out the different types of devices for people, again, limited in their finger function and hand movement and grip. Uh, this is a big handled spoon. And let me point out a couple of others, these different types of devices uh, that help, again, uh, spoon for you to get soup. Uh, some of these are for people that may be left-handed. Um, again, this device is for someone that is left-handed. So again, just different types of devices uh, that help people uh, enjoy their healthy eating experience. That's good stuff.